Well, let's go to 2005 for Wolf Creek. A uh, summary for this film, three backpackers stranded in the Australian outback are plunged in a hellish nightmare of insufferable torture by a sadistic, psychopathic local. <clears throat> Written and directed by Greg McLean, who did Rogue, The Belko Experiment, uh, The Wolf Creek Series, Wolf Creek 2, The Darkness, a uh, movie called Jungle. Uh, I'm, I don't know, that's all I got. What do you got? Uh, tagline. Based on True Events, distributed by Dimension Films. Uh, it's, it's on Blu-ray in different regions. No U.S. release uh, here in the U.S. It's on DVD through Dimension, released in 2006. Uh, I immediately hated the, um, the dude douchebag with the ta tribal tattoos. I hated him right off of that. Um, evidently, this movie has been... Uh, I, I, I mean, Angela on the group said that this movie had a lot of uh, publicity or whatever uh, yeah. I don't remember that uh, no. this is the first time I've ever seen it <clears throat> it also makes it also makes sense we have, we have the same circle of friends right uh, again 2005 I was on 2005 forums weird, weird year bloody disgusting <clears throat> and then there was uh, <clears throat> the horror channel was right was supposed to be a thing maybe it ended up being THC or whatever right uh I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see it. But uh, I hated that that douchebag. I I don't know if it was by design that they wanted me to hate him, or if they thought that that guy was a cool guy. Two thousand five, he might have been cool. <clears throat> but uh, I, f my first question is, why would anybody go on this hiking trip? You're a guy that goes on stuff. Would it's, you go to this? It's like, a, it's a, well one. It's a, it's an actual national park, uh, Wolf right. Creek Meteor. Yeah. National park but would you go do this walk? No. Would you do it when they do it? Because it's also raining. We're getting ready to rain. They say allow three hours. No, I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Just not, if nothing not else, this state. If if all the shit that happens to these people didn't happen, they would have a bad hiking trip, anyways. I mean, it's the fear. It's the, at the you know the least. Um, the the killer Mick is a great fucking character. Uh, he one hundred percent. Would have killed me. Would have <laughs> killed me. Because he would have got me. I would have been like, fuck, yeah, this is the guy we need. And then he'd give me water and we'd be hanging out. He'd be talking in an Australian accent, saying literally anything. And I'd be like, all right. And then I'd just be dead. Um, uh, I, I love the fucking term fair dinkum that they use in this. Uh, did you hear them use the... Um, it's Australian slang. It means fair or true. Uh, to proclaim a fact or truth in a statement. Nah, mate, I'll tell you what. The guy come around here again, I'll give it right to him. Fair bloody dinkum, mate. <laughs> that was pretty good. I remember I try to do an Australian accent, I always end up going British. Right. There's like the Australian pretty good. fair dinkum. That's Australian. And then if you do want to do New Zealand, I always start by saying, Brit, hey, Brit, Brit. Everything's a little bit higher up. I don't know. Uh, cutting, uh, cutting her restraints with uh, broken glass. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That was cringy shit. Uh, when, yeah. Oh, oh man. Uh, here's a tip for anybody escaping a murderer. Uh, kill him when you have the chance to kill him. Uh, stab him in the head. When your gun stops working, stab him in the head. Smash him in the head. Uh, certainly don't uh, push your means of escape down a cliffside. <laughs> what a dumb bunch of shit these people do. Um the craziest scene is when Mick stabs one girl through a car seat, then she, then he severs her fingers, which looks fucking awesome, and then he just nonchalantly severs her spine, making her uh, head on a stick, on a as stick. he says. That's fucking crazy, man. Uh, he also references Crocodile Dundee at that point, uh, which is really good. Uh, I thought the movie was a bit longer than it needed to be. But I liked how it ended, and there were several uh, really stellar sequences as far as special effects and acting goes. I will be sure uh, to be looking into the sequel and the TV series because the actor John Jarrett is fucking awesome, and he's in all of that shit. Uh, I gave this movie an 8 out of 10 and a high recommend. Uh, yeah, so we have a, an Australian... Hey, that was pretty good, right? Australian. I didn't know you went <laughs> Australian. <laughs> you don't talk to me, bring you inspired me. <laughs> I ate at the Outback Steakhouse last night. I got a little oh, something in it. me. That's it. <laughs> and slept at Holiday Inn. <laughs> uh, new, sp new sponsor, by the way. Oh, yeah. Holiday, Holiday Inn. Skittles dropped us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what can you do? 
Uh, yeah. Austro- <laughs> I can't even say anything. Australian. Australian serial killer slasher. Uh, John Jarrett, Nick, he's great. Uh, best part about the movie for me. The tension and how uncomfortable. Like, he just... Mm-hmm. I, he's just there waiting to kill you. He's just waiting, looking you dead. I would be terrified of him. I don't know. You seem like you want to be buddies with him, but... The way he just when looked. he first comes in, when he first comes into it, like he hates that guy too. He hates oh, him yeah. as much as you do. Yeah, that guy couldn't say anything. He just w- was ready to tear him <laughs> apart. Uh, I know. I love his character. Uh, for the most part, everything's well done. Not a lot of kills. Well, there end up being two out of yeah. the three. Yeah, uh, you see some people in the background, but um, so I think that makes it feel a little bit slow. Um, it also could be that it's too long. I think uh, one fault probably is maybe the editing of this. How it it's almost like a slow burn. But mm. There's something you just about don't give me a slow burn. In this. There's something tiresome about returning to that same location again because they get away from it and then they go back. And I've had fucking nightmares like that where, where I keep repeating the same thing. Yeah, it's an hour, an hour thirty nine minutes. So uh, I just think. You, Probably could have done a, 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 at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, don't care for the ending. Um, surprise this didn't, with a, I borrowed the DVD, but I'm surprised they didn't do an alternate ending to this. This seems like mm. this should have been, this would have been a good movie to have an alternate ending because I didn't, I didn't care for it. Uh, the final guy, or the final girl ends up being a guy, so that's something, something they threw at you. I didn't, uh, when I expect him. Um, yeah, I, people will say this is a little, a little bit overrated. I don't, I don't necessarily think it's over. It might have been overhyped, but right. uh, overrated. IM, IMDb has seven out of ten. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is at fifty-two percent, and I like to sit right, right in between those two. I gave it a six, and I do want to see part two. I haven't right. seen, I haven't seen that. How would you have changed? What you got an idea for an alternate ending? <laughs> <laughs> not that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I didn't think about it. I, just, I can't remember what exactly happens. He he ends up like he shoots the girl in the car. You don't ever you don't see him. There the other two girls are looking for him. He, he ends up living and right. That's it. Like, well, I'm glad he lives. He's a good guy. <laughs> that could have been fine, but yeah. maybe had uh, five backpackers. Mm. A Give little a, more. Little, yeah, yeah. Give me a little bit more. Two out of three. Come. <laughs> so this one here, I I thought it gave you enough time to, to get to know those characters, and which we hated. That's true. Yeah. Now the girls are all right. Yeah, the girls. Yeah. Are, I the mean, guy is terrible. The the way it does kind of drag out a little. Oh, and a little bit it, of a love gives, triangle it, it, too. Yeah. yeah, it gives you more of a feel for them. See, you could have done without that. That's really one example. You throw that. That's a horror <laughs> film. If you don't have boobies, then there's a triangle. It's hard to get boobs out. Boobs without, over, but. It's hard to get boobs out without having some sort of love story going <laughs> on, um, unless they're swimming, which they do a lot in horror movies. The location that it was shot on, or shot in, I should say, it made you feel helpless. I mean, you could put yourself in that situation, like you said. There's nowhere you're, else for them yeah, to go. You're they're gonna, drive, you're gonna die. They're talking about how far they're driving to get to his well, house. Yeah. There's nothing. Nothing out there. I mean, that's the majority of the first of the movie. Well, National Park, you're not allowed to live in the National Park. Nope. So. Is, it, is it wrong that I laughed when the old guy got shot? Because <laughs> he was getting like a fucking uh, canteen out of the back. Let me get you a blanket. And then the guy just picks mm-hmm. him off. And I had a, a, like an express. <laughs> I'm like, ha! <laughs> it was just, it was, it's terrible. But what? Yeah, okay. I enjoyed the brutality and the realism of it. I mean, it, it just went hand in hand. It was awesome. Uh... And the fact that he gets away scot free. Not a big thrill for me, but I definitely see why because I have seen the sequel. Oh. And I understand. <laughs> I, under, I understand. I understand why he gets away. You, you haven't seen something. shit yet. And I'll, leave, I'll leave it at that. I, I ain't gonna say I, I, I gave this an eight. 